So I don't know if this is going to reach them, but if it does, great. But to Ableton, here's how you guys need to improve Live 12. I think that so far you guys have made a tremendous amount of improvements, but I need you guys to take note from FL Studio. I'm not saying to be like FL Studio because FL Studio is their own thing and Live is also its own thing. So I think we just need to make the beat making process, the producing process, we need to just make it faster. For example, on Live, I have Scalar 2 right here, right? It's a plugin. If I wanna open it, I have to go all the way down here to this little wrench, right? If I wanna close it, I can do Option Command P. I guess that's cool. I can also key map it. I have a key map to the number one. All right, but let's have a look at FO Studio, right? I have Scalar 2 right here. All I have to do is double click it. Escape, double click, escape, right? That's faster. That is so much faster. So take note, I think we should either have a shortcut that allows us to open this wrench button to the VST plugin that's correlating to the track of course it'll be the first one and i know what people might be saying oh but what about these other ones and this this and that you know what no screw that it should be for the first one simple as that let's not complicate it second thing is the browser look at this fo has this feature where automatically hides the browser automatically hides it when you put your mouse in this little area right here automatically hides it you can also choose to not auto hide it right and a big one right here is resizing the text in the browser independently from everything that's going on here now with the live 12 right i can't do that i just can't look look at this if i want if i'm on like 100 percent, mind you i don't have the biggest mac screen ever this to me is kind of tiny i kind of have to squint my eyes to see what's going on here i would have to bring up the zoom but it makes everything bigger and maybe i don't need that maybe i don't maybe i just need to make the text here bigger independently of everything else that's happening there and also this idea of constantly having to hit option command and and b option command b to constantly open up the browser that's not really you know it's 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 a lot of clicking it's it's, it's just a lot all right make it easier for us. while i'm on the browser allow us to have more colors here i mean look at this right look at this look how many colors we have there look how many colors i can make on the track i can make that pretty much any color i want you mean to tell me i can't add another color here I can't, I can't add another color to edit. I can't add another color to my collection. Like what? Listen, like I said, I think live is amazing in so many ways that FL isn't. All right. When it comes to audio manipulation, how fast that is, how seamless that is. Live is great. I also love the organization aspect of live in that, you know, as you're making the patterns, like the arrangement kind of comes naturally. Right, in FO Studio, it's a bit more clicky and finicky. Not knocking FO Studio, again, both DAWs are great. I'm just letting Ableton know, the company, how they can make live greater. And I'm not the only one who's thought about this. I was reading up on a forum where people from more than 10 years ago are talking about making a shortcut to open the first plugin on the track. Like, I need you guys to listen to us, come on, I mean, I literally paid for this update because I like the new features. I like some of the, you know, the MIDI features. I do like the tagging system in the browser and all this other stuff. I like the, the scaling system, you know, how you can make things stick to a scale. All that's great. All that is innovative, right? We just need more, you know, I, I, I don't, I don't even think that we're asking for too much, right? I'm the voice of the people, by the way. Yeah, I'm saying we because I know that I'm speaking for everyone else. So Ableton, if you see this, please, in the 12.2 update, take this into consideration. Let's not be stingy with what we have up here. 
all right because at the end of the day we're just trying to make music and we will gladly pay you money for literally like these greater updates i mean look at fo studios model again i'm not telling you to be like fo studio but i i say this to raise the point fo studio they're free updates for life but then when you look at fo cloud they have more money coming in when you look at the plugins they sell that's more money coming in like you know you don't need to be stingy with the things that you put out in updates in order to make more money i truly disagree with that if anything you're gonna make people reluctant to either a join you or b to continue on with you it's actually making the long-term bag like slip through your hands but what do i know right i i just i just make music right i just i i literally interact with your software like every freaking day <laughs> what, what do i know about making it making the experience better i'm being sarcastic but listen again if a developer from ableton sees this it's all love i just want to see your creation be the best it can be so Ciao. and i was just about to finish making this video but as i was editing and looking back i mean again let's look at live don't Dude. tell me it's not possible to do what i asked for look at all this empty space bro look at i don't use this if i'm being honest i just i never use this i don't know what it's for i don't really care i might care at some point in the future but this does not need that much real estate look at how much real estate there is here you could have a wrench up here like you could have some stuff here you could maybe remove this right again key mapping is an option but if i'm being honest i only have so many keys seriously all right so come on let's let's i don't think i'm being unreasonable here and i'm sure the millions of people watching assuming i'm gonna have millions of people watching i don't think they disagree either so ableton i love you but i just want to see that you love us back